I've worked 45 years in the system, and you now here I am, at, I should be enjoying or at a point in my life where I can, what, cruise control? Not. <laughs> it's back to, uh, you might want to find a part-time job. Now you have to use this um, time to really stick to a budget. Uh, you might want a lobster dinner every now and then, steak dinner, like, mm, nope, check the budget, see if you're gonna make it with your medications. When you turn 65, it's a whole new ball game with Medicare. I have to make sure my appointments, copay are covered, my medications are covered. And when I sat down and did the math for a year, I was like, I don't have enough. <laughs> If you don't meet the criteria to get the subsidy from Medicare, there's often a deductible and then what's called a coverage gap where you pay more out of pocket. Even when you get to catastrophic coverage where Medicare pays 95% and you're left with 5%, if you're receiving a drug that costs $10,000 or more each month, that's more than a car payment for a lot of people. So it still is inadequate. We do not have an inexpensive medication for, for the long-term management of, uh, of MS. All of our medications come with a pretty high price tag. and we're, we're maybe shifting a little bit more of the financial burden back to the patient. You take money from different areas that, and you're hoping that you can uh, get some assistance. Um, but if you don't, and that's in the back of my mind, what if I don't? Here I am thinking, 65, this is the time now. You should be calming down. You can do, you know, things you like to do. Get involved with some volunteer work. Maybe do your hobbies. Not. <laughs> I just can't get our country being so rich. Why are we making a choice between medication and food and just your way of life, of living?